Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in this series we'll be talking about Gemini Code Assist. This is going to be a complete course on what Gemini Code Assist is, the different editions of Gemini Code Assist. We'll also try to build an application and uh, the most important part is this course is going to be on English. Take it. Let's understand what the course will cover. We'll first talk about what vibe coding is and we'll also talk about the importance of AI in coding today. Okay, then we'll talk about Gemini Code Assist for software development. We'll talk how we can use AI for problem solving, refactoring, testing and documentation, which is basically what the development life cycle is. Okay, then what we'll do, we'll build an expense tracker application using Gemini CLI. Basically, this is going to be a very basic application, but this will give you my tips and tricks on how I go about building an application using a AI assistant tool like Gemini Code uh, Assist or basically Cursor as well, right? In this video, we are, in this series, we are not going to be discussing about the cursor. We are only going to be discussing about the Gemini Code Assist, especially the CLI that it offers. And also another tool that it offers is basically an extension that basically integrates with the code editors like JetBrains ID or BS Code and so on and so forth. Okay, so what you will learn here is first definitely why AI assistants matter in coding how Gemini works or basically Gemini code assist works, how the CLI works, basically the command line applica interface of Gemini, how it works. And then we'll talk about how an extension by Gemini code assist in an editor like VS code, how that works, right? Uh, yeah, we'll talk about how to use CLI automation and ID integration effectively. And we also see how Gemini in full development life cycle helps us, right? Basically about generating the code, debugging the code, testing the code and also improving our code. So basically doing this iteratively by passing more prompts, by talking about the code more with your AI, you will try to improve the code as well. Okay. We'll also see how we can scaffold, build and test a full expense tracker project. Scaffold, what is mean by scaffolding? Scaffolding basically means to set up the initial base setup for your application. We'll see how we can do this with Gemini CLI. Initially, we will do some uh, setup that is required to run Gemini CLI on your system. We need uh, some prerequisites are there, like for example, node version has to be latest. So let me write it here. So for example, we node, need node. And uh, if it is like V20 and above, then it will be great. We need Python to be installed in our system. So I'm not gonna do these installations in my system, but I'll talk about like how and where you can get these things to install it on your systems. Right, post that, I think this is all we need to uh, go through this course. You also need a Google account, right? You need a Google account. And we'll also talk, talk about like how you can get a Gemini API key in order to run your app, in order to do wipe coding with Gemini Code Assist. We'll also talk about how you can use Gemini Code Assist to, you know, work with GitHub and Git in order to, you know, uh, commit your project, push project to a remote repository on the GitHub. We'll not write those commands of Git and GitHub. We don't need any of those, but I'll talk about how you can use Gemini Code Assist to do these things. And finally, I'll talk about what MCP is and we'll do one simple integration in Gemini with a GitHub MCP server. And uh, I'll talk about what MCP is in a later video. But the idea behind this is that this is gonna be uh, more tips and tricks and how I do prompt engineering in order to build an application. Okay, and all the materials will be up uh, available in this repository. So you can just, uh, uh, once the video is completed, the notes will be uploaded in this repository. So do go and uh, download the notes and uh, do go through this, like what all things have been taught and what you should learn more maybe probably, right? So I'll add those things in the repository as well. So like, for example, this is the chapter one notes. So I'll add necessary documentation at the end of uh, each note so that you can learn more about those things, okay? So this is going to be just a very quick intro video around what we're discussing in the Gemini Code Assist. I'll see you later uh, in another video where we'll be discussing about what vibe coding is and uh, we'll discuss about uh, in very simple terms what agents are and then we'll start deep diving into installing the CLI, uh, Gemini CLI actually on your uh, system and see that how we can work with Gemini CLI to scaffold a project and work or work with one simple expense, expense tracker application and how to do prompt engineering on top of that. Okay, so I'll stop here and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.